Hi there. It's been a little over a week since I got back from the UP where I picked up a few rocks and it's about time I cut them up. So uh, here's some rocks I'm going to cut. This first one is, it doesn't look like much probably, uh, but it's a real pale pink. If I get it wet, you'll probably be able to see that a little better, maybe. It's a very pale pink color and then there's banding going across like this, real fine banding. Uh, so I'm hoping that when I cut inside there, uh, the outside is more bleached from the sun and the inside's a little darker. Uh, but I'm, I'm kind of most excited about that one. There's real nice stripes in here. Uh, next up we have this. I'm not sure exactly what this is. It's kind of just different shades of brown. Uh, but it has some neat veining going different ways. So that might look cool when I cut it up. These will mostly be cut into crosses. And like this one, it'd be nice if I could cut it this way, uh, but there's no way to clamp it in the saw that way, so I'll end up cutting it this way. Uh, but I hope that's enough to get the, a little cross out of there. It doesn't need to be real big. This next one is probably mostly epidote, but it's got some white in it. So that's it's kind of a neat combination of green and white. Usually the epidote uh, is green and then it comes with feldspar, which is pink or orange, uh, which is called unikite then. That's what this one is. So this one has, you can see more of the pink and orangish colors there and more green on this side, but it's, it's thin banding in there. So I think if I cut that this way, it's going to look really cool. And last we have this one. Which is another piece of, I guess you'd call this unikite. It's more of an orange and green than a pink and green. And that's going to have just splotchy stuff all over, I think. So we'll have to see what it looks like when we cut it. So I'll cut these up and then I'll show you what we got. So the pink one's going to go in first. And I'll just have to try it and see what we can do with this. The rocks are all cut up now. I've been slicing rocks since about this time yesterday. About every half an hour I go out and adjust the saw to take another slice. I was trying to think of a good place to display the rocks and I realized I have this big boulder in my yard. It can work as a nice little desk for me. So here's that pale pink rock. I was hoping it would be a little darker on the inside. Turns out it's pretty much exactly the same color on the inside. But it's got nice stripes. And when I shine it up, I think it's going to look pretty good. Get it wet for you. It looks pretty cool. Next up we have this piece of unikite. It's got red and white stripes on it. Look like this before cutting. Here's what it looks like on the inside. I like it. Then we've got the kind of two-color green rock. And inside it looks like that. And then this one, which is the kind of orange and green unikite. I like that one. I like them all. What's not to like? And then this brown rock. I don't know what kind of rock this is. Still has a little oil on it from the saw. I really like this part. Unfortunately, it's just at that end. 
Pretty cool looking rock though. And then I got a pile of rocks here that I cut, or I picked up last summer. I've been cutting them over the last couple of weeks. Uh, these are both unikite. This is sort of like a unikite, but it's more brown. It's not, I don't know exactly what that is. And I guess this is some sort of quartz. This is the kind of unikite I really like a lot. So there we go. Sliced up rocks from Lake Superior. Thanks for watching.